So we have a related rate. Oil spills on the floor at 100 cubic centimeters per minute. If a half centimeter thick circle is created, how fast is the radius changing when the circle is 50 centimeters across? So you have black oil spilling down at 100 cubic centimeters per minute. Slowly oozing into a puddle. But it's not just a puddle. I hope you see because it's a half centimeter thick. It's actually a prism. All right. So that's what's going on. And it's saying when, it, when the, the puddle is 50 centimeters across, how fast is the radius? I'll call R. How fast is DRDT? What is DRDT? And I would do this when the radius is 25 centimeters. That's what's going on here. And the hardest part here, where you got to be really careful, is your temptation might have been able, might have been to treat this situation like area of a circle equals pi r squared. But that's an area, and this was a volume. And if it's a volume, you have to be able to write a volume equation. All right, so here it is. It's a half inch thick. And that would be like an oil spill, right? Because if oil is viscous, just kind of, you know, it, it, has a, it doesn't want to get very, it stays somewhat thick is the way I would think about it. Here's the problem. We know the volume equals, in this case, pi r squared h. My question to you right now is do I have to take the derivative of B equals pi R squared H as it stands? Because if I want to, you have to recognize that R squared and H are both variables. So you'd have to do the product rule. Because obviously R is changing, right? Oil is filling on the floor. The puddle is getting bigger. Is H changing? No, H is a constant. So in this case, because it's not changing, we can actually change the formula for this case into that. The volume of the puddle is changing, the radius is changing, but that thickness, it's always a half inch thick. Do the properties I defined for the oil in this problem. And I can write this equation this time as one half pi r squared. And I suppose if you want to keep track of units, there's a centimeter hanging out, right? Now I have to take a derivative. Now I have to take a derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of B, which is just dB. And again, we automatically divide by dt on all terms equals derivative of 1 half pi r squared. Well, 1 half pi is a constant, so the derivative of r squared is just 2r times half. So how about pi r? And we took the derivative with respect to R, so it's dr, dt, there's still a centimeter hanging out, right? Just trail it along. All right. Now, the million dollar question, do I know R? Yep, I know R is 25 centimeters. Do I know dv, dt? Yeah, I should have defined that right away. That's up here, right? dv, dt is equal to that 100. We said it, but we didn't write it. And the only other variable in that problem is drdt. So I can write 100 centimeters cubed over minutes equals pi 25 centimeters drdt centimeters. Divide both sides by 2 centimeters. Divide both sides by 2 centimeters. Boom, boom. And I think you just get centimeters per minute. So now you have 25 pi drdt. Divide both sides by 25 pi. All right. And again, that's just algebra. So my answer is 4 over pi centimeters per minute when the radius is equal to 25 centimeters. And everybody, let's put it in perspective. I'm saying that it, the instantaneous rate of change 
when that puddle is 50 centimeters across, is about a centimeter per minute as, a, as I pour the oil. Can you picture this or not? 100 cubic centimeters per minute is like a tenth of a liter. All right, it's not much oil, right? So it's just growing just a, just a centimeter, just a little tiny little bit every minute at that point. What would you expect if the circle got bigger? We would expect this to get smaller, right? Because it takes more volume to push out. And you can see here that we could solve this equation for dr dt. We could do that when the radius is small, dr dt will be larger because you're dividing by r. When the radius gets big, it obviously makes dr dt smaller. There's an inverse relationship here. All right, and I suppose I should have the unit centimeters there. Okay, a lot of times they don't carry units at this point, but we can make those. So this is a a one variable related rate problem.